So this one's a little bit more involved. It's number 95 in the back of the chapter for problems. And it starts with a density of 20% by mass ethylene glycol solution, and it gives you the density, 1.03 grams per milliliters. And it wants you to find the molarity. And this is really incorporating two aspects, density and molarity. So we're going to start with what we're given. We're given 20% by mass of ethylene glycol. So if you remember from empirical formulas, we can convert 20% by mass if we assume 100 grams into grams. So we're going to get 20 grams in a 100 gram solution. So that's our first conversion of something we are given. Um, then we have the 1.03 grams per milliliters. That is an important density formula. And at the end, keep in mind, molarity is what we're looking for, is moles over liters. So it's a two-step problem. We're going to have to find moles, and then we're going to have to find liters. And our only two numbers are 20% by mass and 1.03 grams per milliliter. So let's start by finding moles, because we're going to assume 20 grams. We can convert the 20 grams of C2H6O2 into moles by simply using the molar mass, which I will tell you is 62.2. O six grams per mole. So we're going to put the simple conversion in one mole. So when we do that, we have those crossed off. We end up with moles, and our final moles two three sig figs. Um, because sorry, this is twenty point oh. Uh is going to be 0.322 moles. Okay, so now we continue on to find liters. We have to use density in order to find liters because that is the only information we're given that has a volume measure, the milliliters. So we know we're going to use a 100 gram solution since we have grams of solution in the density equation. So we're going to start off with what we're given. We are given, we know we have, we assumed 100 grams of solution. After that, we know that in 1.03, there are 1.03 grams of this solution in every one milliliter. That's our basic density conversion. Then we can continue on. So grams have canceled. So we don't need milliliters, we need liters of solution. Remember, it's solution. So we need to put them our conversion, the 1,000 milliliters in one liter. That got those to cancel. So after we calculate that out, we're going to find we have 0 0.971 liters of solution. So up till now we found the moles and we found the liters of solution. So using those two we're going to find our molarity which is moles of solute to liters of solution which is going to be 0 0.22 moles in liters and our final answer is going to be 3.32 molar is our molarity. So as you can see, we did our 20%, converted that to 20 grams in a 100 gram solution. And that 100 gram solution is used to find the liters of solution, and the 20 grams is used to find the moles.